So this is the 2017 Genesis G90. Hyundai launched their own luxury brand. They finally did it. So this replaces the Hyundai Equus. Everyone knows when you make a luxury car, you don't give it a name, you give it random characters. For example, the G90. So there's two trims of this vehicle. There's the ultimate trim, which is the five liter V8. Then there is the premium trim, which is the 3.3 liter twin turbo. I think twin turbo sounds really cool. I would rather say that than five liter. I don't even have one turbo right now. I think one thing Genesis has done really well is they've made this car, they've made it not look like an old person car. So this is the premium trim. This starts at $84,000 Canadian. And then if you get the ultimate trim, which has the V8, it's at $87,000. There's not a lot of differences between the two of them. There's a few, but we will point them out as we go. So yeah, wow, it's huge. We almost couldn't fit it on our platform. All right, so looking at the side view, look how long it is. This is the first time we've ever had a car that we almost couldn't fit in the frame because it's so long. Did you know if you get the ultimate trim, then the back seat, the back seat has 12-way power seats. Never seen that. I know people online will say, you're really stupid. Didn't you know that this Mercedes that cost $40,000 more has that? Well, no, I didn't, but thank you. And it comes standard with these 19 inch wheels, no matter which trim you buy. The 84 or the $87,000 one, you get 19 inch wheels. Those two trims are very closely priced to each other. It's kind of funny. I feel like if you can afford an $84,000 car, you can probably afford an $87,000 car. Neat. This is the nicest of this part of a hood that I've ever seen. It's so smooth and it's a very nice color. It's very nice. But this is a 3.3 liter twin turbo with 365 horsepower. Also has 376 foot pounds of torque. So this is the smallest engine that you can get. You can also get a five liter, which has 420 horsepower. But I bet with a twin turbo, this thing moves pretty good. I'm gonna be totally honest. Dad. This looks kind of cheap, don't you think? Like just this part of the engine? I don't know, I feel like it would, it would look a lot cooler if it this vehicle must have really good weight distribution because the battery is in the back. I'm excited to drive it because I bet it's a really quick car. I say that we should move on. Let's just move on. Back of the G90. I don't know, it's a pretty plain back. Right, Brandon? It's a very nice car, it's just that the back end is kind of boring. So this has a 3.3 liter and this is H-Track. Normally if you, when you get the base um, premium, then you have the, this rear wheel drive, but H-Track is the all wheel drive. So this is an all wheel drive 3.3 liter turbo and it has proximity sensors. And then you have a ton of chrome. And then right here is like glossy black plastic. It's kind of cool that they made this glossy black and not more chrome or like body colored. Also, it has a power trunk, full power. That's neat. Also, the seats don't fold down. That's a lot of room. It's a very soft trunk, actually. There's an anchor here. Maybe it's for like uh, hanging groceries. Yeah, I could sleep in here if I had to. It's actually not that bad. The seats don't fold down, but there's a pass through. But there is a glow in the dark tab. I could also just hit the button, but which button is it? This one? No, this one? Huh? <gasps> this one, this one. There we go. And with less expensive vehicles, normally the hinges, they fold down into the trunk, not into this little hole here. So you can often crush your groceries or your kids, but this goes into a little hole. That means that you can't crush anything. And there's also a bunch of anchors back here too, and some cargo nets, and there's a little hole here. What is this? There's also a spare tire in the back, and there's a battery in the back as well for weight distribution. It's a really big battery. Let's check out the inside. We are inside the Genesis G90. I feel like there's leather everywhere. It's very, very soft touch. It feels like a very high quality vehicle. Apparently there are two different types of wood or three different types of wood that you can put in this vehicle. And there's two different interiors available. There is a beige and then a dark gray. And this is the, this is brown. Well, anyways, there's only two different interior colors. There's a lot of buttons in this car. It has three different memory seat functions. And then the passenger seat has two memory seat functions. 
which is really neat. And plus it has um, auto down windows for all four windows, which never happens. That's really neat. The steering wheel is fully wrapped in leather, but it's not just this part here that's in leather. It's actually, even the, the, the center cap is all leather. That's amazing. It's really, really soft leather too. I think the interior is nicer than the exterior. The exterior is nice, but it's just, this is, this definitely looks more like a luxury car than the, I don't know. If I had to give style points, I think the interior would get way more than the exterior. There's so much stuff in this car that I actually don't know where to start. Like with, with some nice vehicles, there's always really cheap plastics on the inside, but this is all, this is all leather, like this is all soft touch, and this is all soft touch. Everything is soft touch. Even right beside where your leg sits is soft touch. That's pretty cool. There's so many buttons though. Look at all the buttons. Brandon, look at all the buttons. Just right here, there are 40 buttons. That's a lot of buttons. Yeah, overall, it's an extremely nice interior. It's really nice. The headliner is made of Alcantara. It's not suede like you get in a Jaguar. And there's an electronic parking brake, and you can adjust all of your buttons here. There's blind spot monitoring. There's lane keep assist. There's power trunk button, so you can open up your trunk from back here. Can I close the trunk from back here? Oh, come on, that's lame. Oh, I can too. Oh, you have to hold the button down to close the trunk. That's really cool, you can open and close the trunk from here. There's also a lot of aluminum in here, and there's also paddle shifters. There is a 17 speaker sound system. It's a lexicon system, and they have these really neat metal plates that cover the, it's like a metal grill that covers the, the speakers. And the door has a really good thud to it too. That's very nice. And then right here, there is a shifter, but it's one of those weird electronic shifters. So if you want to go in reverse, then you have to press this button and then push it forward. If you want to go drive, then you press the button and pull it back. It's actually a really nice start button too. Mm. And then it also has an analog clock. I think the centerpiece of this entire interior is this 12.3 inch infotainment system. That's a huge screen. Like, that's massive. That's ridiculous. It's so big. Yeah, I wonder if you could watch movies. Maybe. I don't know. That's pretty wide. And there's a, there's a dial right here, and you can control this. I wonder if this is a touch screen. I wonder if it, I don't know. It's a really glossy screen, so I don't know if it is touch screen or not, because it's not letting me touch, like, do anything. But let's see. Maybe I can, if I can all do it from here, that's easy. That's really nice. That's a really nice looking system. A lot of times they look tacky, but plus you can use the dial. You can push the dial left or right, or you can just spin it. So if I'm driving, I can just do this. Very easy. Let's see. Let's go to radio. That is super intuitive. I've never used it before. This is my first time ever using it, and I already know how to use it. Right here, there's a whole bunch of buttons. There's radio, media, there's seek. Everything you can do on the screen, you can also do right here, just by pressing these buttons. You have your automatic climate control. It has three zone climate control, which means in the back, the people who are sitting in the back can also have their own climate control. One really interesting feature with this car is it has an auto hold button. So with auto hold, if you're sitting at a light or something and you're getting tired of holding your foot on the brake, you can just hit the auto hold button and it holds the brake for you. And there are three-stage heated and cooled seats, and a two-stage heated steering wheel. Also, there's wireless charging right here, and USB and auxiliary. Because I don't have an iPhone, I have wireless charging. Watch this. Anyways, it has wireless charging. There's also a heads-up display which is cool. It tells you the posted speed limit. Apparently the speed limit in here is 50, so it's a good thing we're not speeding. It has a power dimming rear view mirror, obviously, and auto dim side view mirrors as well as heated side mirrors. It's a very comfortable car too. Here's an interesting thing about this car. Did you know that it has something called pre-safety seat belts? That means that if you are turning really, really sharp or you're going over ice or you know, you're, you're braking kind of sharp, the seat belts will actually tighten up it's like the idea of having an alarm system in your home. The alarm system is just gonna warn you that someone's in your house and they're ready to kill you. I would rather not have any warning at all. Just do me in my sleep is what I always say. Does this have Android Auto? I don't know. Let's find out. I don't think this has Android Auto. Oh well, that's okay. All right, let's go to the back seat. So this seat is in the position that I had it in when I was sitting in the front, and this is how much room I have in the back. I can actually stretch my legs. 
That's really neat. That's so much room. There's a really big transmission tunnel, but I don't imagine you're gonna have many people sitting in the in here. Even right here is soft touch. Even right here is soft touch. That's pretty amazing. Let's see. There's a button here to, to move the seat forward and back. I guess if you want to give yourself more leg room. If you have children, that's going to be bad because your wife or your husband, whoever is sitting in this seat, is going to be tormented by your children. Apparently with the old Equus, which was the outgoing model, you used to have some screens in the back. And I bet you're thinking, hey, where is the rear independent climate control? Bam. That's really nice. Ooh, rich people gum. There's a lot of adapters, like power plugs back here. And plus there is also a phone charger right here, USB charger. If I'm being driven by some guy, then I can, I can still do that. Let's see. So this is a volume knob. That's a big volume knob, but that's really cool. AM, FM, XM. What is this? What does this button do? What does this button do? Can you help me start it? There you go, right there. Thank you. That's amazing because so it has rear independent climate control and I can see everything on the screen. Adjust the temperature, off, but also there's a weird button here that looks like maybe the seats recline or something like that. I can't tell what they do because they're not working. I don't understand. So, I front, front. This doesn't make any sense. Hello, how's it going? Stick your hand through here. There we go. Pass through. I would say that if I was going to sit in the back seat of a vehicle, I'd probably sit in the back seat of this vehicle. Be good for traveling. Oh, the center console is also very big. If you had a child sitting on here and you had another child who was me sitting here, you like bend the kid straight over so his head is between his legs. Where are their cup holders? <gasps> Ooh, it does have cup holders right here. One thing that's kind of neat, I guess if you wanted to like, if you were an adult who were, and you were driving this car and you wanted to transport other adults, then they'd be very impressed by this car. They would say, yes, you're hired. I want to hire you because you have a very nice back seat. Hey, you can control both, both windows right here. I can make the left and right window go down. And also there's a weird knob here. I don't know what it does. For some reason, the heads up display is extremely bright. It's like hard to look at it so bright. That's weird. Ooh. Whoa, that's fast. Considering it's a 3.3 liter, but it has a twin turbo with 365 horsepower. I bet the five liter is even faster. It's a really nice car. It's very comfortable. Oh, hey, let's test the sound system. I'm excited. I bet the sound system's gonna be very, very nice. So, that is what 17 speakers sound like. My ears are ringing. All right, well, you know what? There are a lot of features in this car and it is a very, very nice car. If you liked what you saw in this video, you should let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Toodaloo.